All right. The next one is three SCP-3565, a.k.a. Meat Baby. And again, it does have a picture of an anomaly. It, is. it may gross people out, so warning ahead. Yeah. All right. All right. Item SCP-3565. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-3565 is to be kept in the storage room at Site-51. If anyone working at Site-51 displays symptoms of 3565's perception, altering effects, they are to be transferred off-site and anesthetized immediately. Once per day, personnel assigned to 3565 are to insert a half-liter bottle of human milk into 3565 and are not to leave until the bottle is empty. Following incident 3565-A, Site 51 staff assigned to uh, 3565 are to be cycled every third week. Revisions to containment procedures for 3565-1 are pending. Alright, description. SCP-3565 is 3 kil kilograms mass of ground, uh, porcelain, bovine, and human flesh. Personally, 10% of adult humans perceive 3565 to be a human infant of variable appearance. Though affected individuals who are themselves parents will often describe 3565 as something similar to their own children. Individuals affected by 3565 feel an extreme compulsion to feed and care for 3565 and will become distressed if they are refused contact with it. Testing has shown that 3565 is not alive. Despite this, 3565 is capable of metabolizing human milk and doing so delays the putrefaction process and gives 3565 limited regenerative properties. 3565 requires approximately half a liter of milk a day to maintain these properties. If 3565 is given milk in excess to this amount, it will slowly grow in size proportionate to the amount it was fed. Though it will revert to its original size over time if feeding portions are brought back down. If 3565 is not fed or is fed less than half a liter of milk a day, it will begin to rot like non-anomalous ground meat. Additionally, individuals working near or with 3565 when it is unfed have reported hearing a baby crying. With the frequency and intensity of the crying increasing, the longer 3565 goes without feeding. The number of individuals who perceive 3565 as an infant has also been shown to increase over this period. Addendum. Incident 3565-A. On February 5th, re redacted, Dr. Javier Martinez, then the he head researcher for 3565, was rushed to the infirmary after falling unconscious following complaints of abdominal pain and nausea. An examination of Dr. Martinez revealed that he had grown a functional uterus and birth canal. Initially, ultrasounds of the organs showed what appeared to be a human fetus at four months of development. Dr. Martinez was given an emergency cesarean section in a one kilo kilogram mass of ground meat. Now designated SCP-3565-1 was removed from his adamant. The mass composition and anomalous properties are identical to 3565. Following the incident, all staff at Site-51 were given a thorough medical examination. 75% of staff who had been working in close proximity to 3565 for more than three weeks displayed physical abnormalities similar to Dr. Martinez. Though none were more than a week into a gestation period, all the individuals were given mifepristone and administered anesthetics. Affected males have extraneous organs removed. But does that mean men who are quiet gain uterus? Yes. A a around their abdomen area. Okay. Which does this thing in pregnant people? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Go post something and break. You know what? I'm kind of glad this FCC file is rather short. Because yeah. imagine the fucked up origins of that thing. Yeah. Oops, wrong one. I. Oh, what the fuck? What? <laughs> the thumbnail oh! has. Oh, you, you see it on stream? Yeah. Okay, I guess I don't. Do you want me to still put it in Discord? No. Okay. I think we both know what number it gets. A four. It has nothing to do with the anomaly. Oh, what the heck? What did I just do? Alright. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's first make sure. Let's see. Is the license the same? Well, it doesn't have a license down here. It probably did at some point, I guess, got it removed. <coughs> oh, they apparently have 3D models now in this video. Save. So okay, it comes for that. Let's see how many characters it removes. Alright, and three and hey, two. Wait, does it have child impregnation? We we'll find out. Oh. And three, two, one. The boy was heavily sedated. The procedure uh, they were about to perform was quite experimental, to say the least. Slightly. The grid pattern focused in on the boy's stomach, the location of the anomaly. Doctor Claus, what was that? the feed? Can you speed the video up slightly because I can't pregnant makes me uncomfortable. Oh, I just realized the thumbnail is covering the video. <laughs> That's probably a good thing. Once again, child pregnant. You want me to just hit the fast forward button? Yeah. Alright. Coming in clear, Doctor. You may proceed. Okay, first incision in the abdomen now. He gently pulled the scalpel through the skin of the boy's stomach. He piled his skin and inserted forward. The it's, it's odd. What do you mean by odd, Doctor? Well, the, the form, the shape, it, it doesn't feel right. It, it doesn't feel like a fetus. Not one that I've ever felt before, at least. Well, Doctor, when's the last time you removed a fetus from a 12 year old boy? Point taken. Uh, removing the fetus now. He pulled upwards. The fetus resisting his attempts at removal. Okay, come on now. He pulled once more. Uh, there we go. As he slid the object out of the boy's stomach, he gasped in horror. What in the? What is it? What happened? He raised the object to the camera. Welcome back. Today I bring you SCP-3565. Meet baby. Please remember to subscribe. I've never been to Ireland. All right. This isn't we a fast forward through that in. Oh, for sure. But if it takes an extra no day or two to figure this out, we might as well check out Stonehenge or something. That's England. Oh. Which is why we're going to talk to Marissa. Because she's Irish. Oh. English. God. Right, God right. damn it. Did he mix vacation. Irish and English? What is it with the two of you and vacations? Work. It's work. I figure having you with us could help smooth things over if the situation calls for it. Logical. I'd be happy to join. When are we off to then? I want to talk Why would you have her All right. Wait, did he even stay where they found it? No. No. So why the fuck are you going somewhere? We should be arriving close to noon. Before we turn out for the night, let's go over the plan one more time. Right. This is a briefing, Chen, not a bedtime story. Briefings are my bedtime stories. Please proceed, Dr. Kloss. Thank you. Okay, yeah, that's so true. What? The SCB Foundation would not use that. They'd probably like fly United Air or some shit. They wouldn't put their own symbol on a plane. On a fucking plane. <laughs> yeah. 
we know so far is that a boy somehow had a uterus and what appeared to be a fetus placed inside of him. What was actually inside of him was a one also, kilogram honest, chunk of your meat. Your own private airplane wouldn't be suspicious, so they'd probably stick the foundation members on a normal, normal people. Yep. Have them dressed like normal people while going through. And they're talking about the twelve-year-old baby. I, I, I'm not gonna finish the sentence. We're just yeah. Yummy. Penny leads? We have some <laughs> odd reports of a- After hearing it, did he seriously fucking say yummy? Oh my god. What the fuck? This is gonna be a very low rate SCP, isn't it? Yes. Diner that was recently going out of business, but has miraculously returned to profits. Just so happens SCP that the boy frequented it recently. Related to a diner. No, it's not. Oh my gosh, they're gonna do what they did in the thumbnail. Maybe. And it's near to his home. Right, so that's the first port of call. Sounds like a good starting point. Night night, boys. Happy Bovine's Bonanza of Beef? That's the place. Definitely anomalous. Nobody would go into a place with that name without some sort of mind control. All right, we're two tourists who want burgers, clear? I mean, I'm pretty hungry. No, our, our cover. Not much of a cover. I haven't eaten since we landed. <sighs> Let's just go in. The layout of the restaurant appeared like most any fast food chain. From a cursory glance, nothing seemed out of place. You go order lunch. I'll have a peek around. Roger that. As Kloss moved off towards the counter, Chen made his way to the staff entrance. A quick glance. Nobody around, and no security pad. He stealthily opened the door and walked into the back room. It was dark, no, not at and all. an odd rotting smell filled his nose. Yuck. In the distance, he saw something move. Uh... He couldn't make out what it was, but it seemed to be alive. You, what are you doing back here? You're not allowed to be here. Sorry, sorry. I could have sworn that this was the bathroom. The bathroom? Are you mental? It's the other side of the restaurant. Who are you? I mean, with the smell in here, can you blame me? I'll show myself out. Chen made his way back to the door. Who are you? He looked the man dead in the eye. He walked out. What happened? Busted. Unrealistic. Looks like lunch will have, have to wait. Have people who made these videos ever spoken to other humans? Nope. Because, <laughs> like, totally, if you're in the back looking, obviously look at you like you're some alien from outer space. Like, who are you? You have any idea how weird people get the toilet? Mm-hmm. Chen and Klaus walked back out of the diner. I'm not so sure about this. Don't worry, Chen and I will be nearby. It's not that. I just don't know if I can pull it off. I'm not trained for this. The worst that happens is you get caught out. We get you out of there and come back with an MTF. Hmm. Chen, would you back me up on this? Chen? Chen! He looked over to see Chen greedily stuffing more food into his face. Marissa Wait, nervously walked. Why would he eat the burger? I don't know. Well, he the he's gonna get. The is made of anomalous meat, isn't it? Yep, and he's gonna get pregnant. This was pregnancy. Did, did you really say that's food? <sighs> Tastes like pregnancy. <laughs> Now you said it. <laughs> yeah. Towards the diner. All right, simple enough. Play the part Kloss explained to you. Any problems, they're watching me. She entered the diner. The same man Chen had had the altercation with stood behind the counter. Hello. Welcome to Happy Bovine's Bonanza of Beef. Can I take your order? Health Inspector, we've had reports of food poisoning and unsanitary conditions. What? 
You must be mistaken. Everything's very clean here. Never mind that. Here's the order of inspection. Let me see your food preparation stations. The man pointed to the areas surrounding him. They're all right here. What about staff areas? The staff areas are for staff. There's no food prep there, only storage. Show them to me. The man squinted and looked at Marissa more closely. Why are you so interested in the staff areas? Who I'm are say, you? Uh, can you pause it? I'm just going to say health inspectors are always allowed in the back. Yeah. You wouldn't question, oh yes, health inspector, that's specifically supposed to go in the back to make sure everything is sanitary. Why do you want to go in the back, huh? That's what <laughs> happens. Really? They're specifically I told there you. to check the back. Yeah. Do you, health inspector? Nah, I don't buy it. Get out of here before I call the police. You're making a big mistake. I'll be back. She turned and walked out. It seemed like they'd have to get into the staff area a different way. It was close to midnight now, and the diner had just shut its doors. Chen, Kloss, and Marissa crouched in the trees. Okay, you two stay here, out of sight. Keep an eye on things and let me know if anyone comes back. I still think we should have called for an MTF. It's fine. Just Maybe a little bit of mission. Kloss nodded back. Next time, though, could you both wear something a little less bright? Chen rolled his eyes. Amateurs. He picked the lock and made his way into the restaurant. Somehow, with the lights dim and nobody around, the entire place took on a much more sinister atmosphere. He made his way to the staff entrance. To his surprise, the door was partially ajar. He pushed the door open and walked inside. That same putrid smell was still there, but now fainter. Damn it. Chen rushed to the back of the room, where he had seen the strange moving thing earlier. Gone. The owner must have cleared it out earlier in the day, after their sloppy attempts at getting into the room. Chen, back of the restaurant, someone's there. On my way. He rushed around to the back of the restaurant. In the trees behind, he saw two men. Hey, stop right there. From the other side, he saw Klaus and Marissa making their way towards him. Go, get out of here. The other man disappeared into the shadows. Chen reached the restaurant manager. In his hands was a sealed plastic bag of minced meat. You? Yeah, me. You're coming with us. They had brought the man to the local foundation site for interrogation and to analyze a package he had with him. So that definitely was the stuff in the back area. Yeah, and it's an identical match for what we pulled out of the kid. What is it? Looks alive. From what we can tell, it's not alive, but it does grow when it's fed with milk. So, some kind of regenerating beef? Not quite. It's partially beef, partially pork, and... And? And human. Chen shot back a disgusted look. Yeah, I know. I I think it's time we have a chat with the restaurant owner. Mr. Ferguson? I want my lawyer. <laughs> I think you misunderstand who we are. We don't operate within the framework of the law or government. Answer our questions, or else. The man gave Chen a nervous look. The meat. What I is it? I would point out that they don't need to say that. They Hey, you're serving human. Yep. Also, to prove a point, if they wanted to, like, this scare tactic, they could probably just stab them or, or shoot them somewhere non-vital. <laughs> they probably would. They don't even need to do that. They just need to pretend to be police and literally say, you have human remains in the meat. Yep. Don't know. You'll have to do better than that. Look, business was bad. The price of beef was through the roof. Some guy came to me and told me that I could have a near infinite supply of beef. The deal was too good to be true, but it was my only chance of saving the business. I took it. What about the fetus? The what? Uh, listen, I don't know about any fetus. 
Floss looked at the man closely. What about the boy? The man looked nervously around the room. The boy, tell us now. You have to believe me. I didn't know what he'd do to them. Them? He wouldn't accept money. He said I had to bring him... supplies. You mean the boys? Yes. I'm sorry. Wait, they said the boys. That means more than one child. <coughs> they somehow added violence to an SCP that's a, a thing of meat. Yep. <laughs> yeah. They said know. boys. We didn't know about his experiments. Who is this man? We don't know his name, but you saw him last night. Come on, you gotta give us something. All I know is they call him the Rebirther. To be continued. S Wait, that... Wait, hold on, that means there's a... Another episode of this. So we're gonna have to watch that too. It might be in a different SCP. Yeah, hold on. I'm trying to see. Different 65 meat baby right there. Probably in, in SCP 3199. Maybe. But I'm also seeing if, if they say it again or do it somewhere else. And nope. SCP-3565 is a three kilo mass of ground porcine, bovine, and human flesh. Approximately 10% of adult humans perceive 3565 to be a human infant of very well. that they're showing the child that birthed the meat as the human meat? Mm-hmm. Okay. Parents, though affected individuals who are themselves parents, will often describe 3565 as looking similar to their own children. Individuals affected by 3565 feel an extreme compulsion to feed and care for 3565. What the? And <laughs> she just seen you in the background. Will become uh. distressed if they refuse contact with it. Testing has shown that 3565 is not alive. Despite this, 3565 is capable of metabolizing human milk, and doing so delays the putrefaction process and gives 3565 limited regenerative properties. SCP-3565 requires approximately half a liter of milk a day to maintain these properties. If 3565 yeah. is given milk in excess of this amount, it will slowly grow in size proportionate to the amount it was fed, though it will revert to its original size over time if feeding portions yeah. ...are brought back down. If 3565 is not fed, or is fed less than half a liter fuck? of milk a day, it will begin to rot like non-anomalous ground meat. Additionally, individuals working near or with 3565 when it is unfed have reported hearing a baby crying. With the frequency and intensity of the crying increasing, the longer 3565 goes without feeding. The number of individuals who perceive 3565 as an infant has also been shown to increase over this period. Wait, 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 did they one starving SCP there? Maybe. Rewind. You need me to go back? Yeah, slightly. The number of individuals who perceive 3565 as an infant... Where? Oh, yeah. Even kept him emaciated and everything. Has also yep. been shown to increase over this period. 3565 is to be kept in a storage room at Site 51. If anyone working at Site 51 displays symptoms of 3565's perception altering effects, they are to be transferred off site and anesthetized immediately. Once per day, personnel assigned to 3565 are to insert a half liter bottle of human milk Why into 3565 dancing? and are not to leave until the bottle is empty. Why are they showing this again? Never be afraid to question. If someone makes fun of you for it, question why. If something seems too good to be true, 
It often is. As always. What the fuck? Well, we t I, I didn't think I would have time, so give me a moment uh, before we rate this one. Right, yeah. Did that do it? No, fuck. What? The fuck? What's going on? I'm trying... To... There we go! There we go! Alright. Removal of character slash license. Four. Because honestly, they removed every... But the SCP itself. Yeah. And uh. including uh Javier Martinez. Oh yeah. The male researcher. Yep. Added gore or violence. Four! For some reason! <laughs> it still confuses me. How did you It's me? <laughs> Deviates from the plot of the article. <laughs> Four. And I, I'm going to say four from the bottom because it's a fucking child thing. Where they said yeah, boys. Solid. They said boys. That means more than one. Uh, you know, having a four of children counts as a four. Yeah.